Everybody wants to be rich. Hey, good morning, or good afternoon, or good evening. Day uno dos, do day dos. Photo bomb! Photo Hello, everybody. Thank you so much for tuning in. You are now watching Let's Talk with Mo, and I am your host, Miss Mo. Welcome back to my channel. Shout out to all of the motivators. How you become a motivator? You ask me. All you have to do is subscribe, and you will instantly become a motivator. Okay. Now, this show is very, very special. This is a women's empowerment banquet that I am one of the speakers at this evening. And we are at the Castle of Knights in Chicopee, Massachusetts. You can look them up. They host all type of events and they have, you know, banquet hall and everything. But I am one of the speakers here tonight at the first annual women's empowerment banquet hosted by Kwana Goodwin, and I will put her information in the description box below. You have honorees, and you have speakers, and just a host of awesome, awesome ladies. If you want to stick around and see what's going on with this beautiful, beautiful event, please keep on watching. back you can take a photo professionally but we are here we have ladies ladies women men are here too but it is an awesome awesome event and we have a great great turnout stay tuned City Council hereby recognizes, honors, and commends Aquana Rappington and her organization, EASE, for their commitment and dedication to our women and families of the City of Springfield. A proclamation sponsored on this day, July 12, 2019, entered into the records of the City of Springfield to be maintained for posterity by Attorney Anthony Wilson, the Clerk of the City of Springfield, and sponsored by City Council's Katie Walsh and Jesse Martin. Thank you. speak 
at the first annual Women's Empowerment event. Let's give her a round of applause. <laughs> Let me start off with telling you a little bit about myself. My name is Maureen Peeler. I am 52 years old. I am the youngest of five siblings, proud mother of three and grandmother of three. I am a front office operations manager for the Caring Health Center in Springfield, and I have been employed there for almost 13 years now. I truly enjoy helping people, especially when they're in need. I am an active member of the, of the Native American Intertribal Council of Western Mass. My bloodline includes Mohawk and Apache. I am also a singer and have been singing for over 40 years. For three years, I have been a talk show host and a blogger for my YouTube channel entitled Let's Talk with Mo. Currently, I am actively pursuing a career as an on-air personality for WTCC 90.7 FM at Springfield Technical Community College. That's enough about me. <laughs> One more thing. You can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> that was a business. <laughs> Along my life's journey, I have met and known amazing people, some amazing people. They have inspired, mentored, and motivated me to number one, step out of my comfort zone. Number two, to do things that I would normally would not even think about doing. Number three, to never just settle. And last but not least, number four, be happy. I can truly say that I have done just that. I would have never guessed in a million years that I would have accomplished all the things that I have or be in the place where I am today. Doing the things that are, that are out of my comfort zone and remembering that every day is a blessing and tomorrow is promised to no one. Mm -hmm. I am very blessed to be able to stand here before you today. In 1996, I was diagnosed with cervical cancer. In that moment, my world seemed to stop. If the cancer was not caught at that time, the doctor, as she said, would have given me one year to live because I asked him. It was very difficult. It was a very difficult time in my life. If there are any survivors out there, you know what I'm talking about. But I realized that I was not alone. <clears throat> Listen to these words. Because the Lord is my shepherd, yeah. I have everything I need. Yeah. He lets me rest in the meadow's grass. And he He restores my failing health, yes, and he helps me to do what honors him the most. That's why I'm safe. That's why I'm safe. That's why I'm safe.
Earlier on, I mentioned that I am the proud mother of three. Now just take a minute to think. What if I did not have my children prior to my diagnosis? Oftentimes, we as women take the ability of having children for granted. We always tend to forget that the power and the strength that we possess that uplift not only our children, but also the women around us, the women right here in our own community. After my surgery, my family and friends were my support system. They were a tremendous help to me during this time. For me, the hardest part was that my daughter was only eight months old and I was not able to physically hold her the way that I normally would. That is my daughter right there in the red dress. So I am proud that I can say 20 years and counting. I won the fight and now I wanna make sure I can give someone else hope. For the past six to seven years, I have been a participant in the annual cancer walk that is held here in Springfield. Let us continue to pray for our loved ones who have passed on, those of us who are presently in the fight and for those who have won the fight against cancer. It is very important to have someone there for emotional, mental, and moral support to help you through your fight. I was blessed to have that support, but unfortunately, not everyone does. Be that light in someone's life, if you can. You can literally be saving someone's life. I survived because I refused to be defeated. My perseverance and determination to live helped me survive the most difficult days. If there is anything that I would want you to take away from today, it would be number one, find something positive to focus on. Number two, be your own advocate. Ask questions and seek help. Number three, pay it forward <coughs> by helping someone else. Like I said earlier, someone has inspired me, mentored me, and motivated me to be able to be in a position to have a voice. And I feel it's my purpose to do the same and pass it on. It is important to help others along the way, just like someone helped me. So let's be good to one another, inspire each other, and lift each other up. Because we as women hold the key to life. And when we work together, awesome, Things will happen. All women are awesome. We overcome and we persevere. Thank you. Thank you.
Everybody wants to be rich. Be rich. Everybody wants to be rich. 